Hello and welcome to the second episode of our podcast Resin Stories Unplugged. Today we want to talk about corrosion and how to prevent it with more sustainable coatings. I will meet here with my colleague Martijn Fossen from the Resins team for industrial coating applications. Hi Martijn, good to see you. Hello Birke, good to see you too. Hello, my name is Martijn Fossen. I am commercial marketing manager for resins for industrial coatings. Martijn, this is a very special location here. Why are we meeting here? Indeed, Birke, this is a very special location. In fact, we are standing here at a huge storage tank field of BSF, very close to Ludwigshaven. In these tanks, several chemicals are stored. And such tanks need to be protected against all kinds of weather conditions. So, metal protection, this is the key word here. And this is where BSF can help. So there are already some good solutions on the market, right? Yes, correct. There are solutions on the market. Everybody familiar with corrosion protection knows that the usual system to protect such tanks is an epoxy polyurethane coating. Very effective, but not necessarily sustainable. You have to deal with all kinds of hazardous materials. Bisphenol A, amines, isocyanates, and these all need special precautions. There is an alternative, however, more sustainable and more friendly for people and environment. Martijn, talking about sustainability, here this tank comes into play, right? Yes, correct, Birke. In 2013, this tank here has been coated with a water-based coating based on Aconal Pro technology. And as you can see, after eight years, this tank still looks like new. Our experts will tell us a little bit more about where and how to use water-based coatings for metal protection. Exactly, Martijn. Initially, we wanted to take you to a tour to our labs in Ludwigshafen to meet our experts. But for safety reasons, we decided to meet the experts via video call. Yes, Birke. We will interview them on solutions how to prevent corrosion by using DTM and multi-layer systems. Do you want to hear and see more? Sure, let's go. Welcome to Paint Lab. Here we will have a chat with our experts. Let's start with Heinrich. Hello Heinrich, welcome to the studio. Good morning Martin, glad to be here. Heinrich, can you tell us something about metal, corrosion, how to protect your surface and how BSF can support our customers? Sure Martin, just some basic facts. Every metal surface needs protection. If it is exposed to the environment, especially humidity, then chemical reaction starts, which trigger the conversion from the metal to, in most of the cases, its oxide form. And this is not good because this causes a lot of damage every year. So if humidity triggers corrosion, such coatings are not water-based, are they? Martin, they are water-based. Okay, so how good are such water-based coatings to protect your metal surface? Well, the DIN and ISO norm tells you how to rate. In simple words, the longer the coating withstands the exposure conditions, the better the classification. Our lab prepared some panels. Can you explain us a little bit what we see here? Is this a clear coat? Yes, Martin, that's a clear coat. So these kind of coatings are used as temporary coatings. This means short-term protection, easy to apply, just one coat. What you see is a 50 micron dry film thickness coating. In most of the cases, they're used as transparent coatings or are colored like gray or black colored. And are such coatings complicated to formulate? No, it's not. It's just the dispersion, organic inhibitors and film forming agents. With that, you achieve VOC levels well below 80 grams per liter. And look at the panels. They have been exposed to more than 480 hours of salt spray test. 
so you are in a C3 high area of corrosion protection. And this with a water-based 1K acrylic dispersion. Wow! And what if I want to have colors? Then the beauty starts. You take your prefabricated pigment slurry, you add it just to this clear coat formulation and then you have it. Look at the white panel. Heinrich, is this a DTM coating? Yes, Martin, this is a DTM coating, so a direct to metal coating, one layer. The panel itself has been exposed to more than 240 hours of salt spray test. Look at the nice gloss and how good the corrosion protection works. So, we are now in the ballpark of C3 medium durability, where protective and decorative comes together. It's an easy formulation, it's easy to apply, and inside the formulation we have reduced any hazardous materials to the max. You are saying that by using Acronal Pro 717, you can eliminate the need of active pigments? Right. The end users want products which are safe and easy to use and do not harm the environment. Acronal Pro 770 offers formulators, paint manufacturers and end users, do it yourself or professionals to accomplish exactly that target for sustainable solutions. Okay, Heinrich, thank you very much for explaining the possibilities to use DTM to protect your surface and at the same time be sustainable. Thank you. Thank you, Martijn. So, Martijn, the tank we have seen before, is this also a DTM coating? No, Birke. Here, the requirements are higher and therefore a multi-layer system is used. But let's turn to Reiner. He will explain how to achieve an effective and sustainable coating for this application. Hello Rainer, welcome to the studio. Hello Martijn, it's a pleasure to be here. Rainer, can you tell us a little bit more about this tank? This tank, which we have previously seen, is protected by a multi-layer coating system. Three layer of water-based acrylic paint. The important D-norm in this context, as previously mentioned by Heinrich, is the DIN and ISO 12944, corrosion protection of steel structures by protective paint systems. According to this norm, the coating of a tank would be an application referring to a corrosion category of C3 high to C4 medium, which refers to a lifetime in the field of 7 to 15 years. Okay, waterborne multi-layer system, is that a new technology? That's a good question, Martijn. Actually, the first tank on the BSF side was already coated in 1984 with water-based acrylic paint. At that time, based on our Acronal S760, which is the first dispersion worldwide developed for the protection of metal. Since then, Acronal or Acronal Pro, as it is called nowadays, is being used for the protection of steel structures, for example, like electricity pylons, which previously had been coated with solvent bond systems. What is the secret to achieve this higher durability coatings that you mentioned before? Well, several layers implies a higher thickness of the coating, more durability. So you have a longer diffusion way, it's more difficult for ions to penetrate through the paint. Such a paint consists of a primer, an intermediate coat and a top coat. You could also say two layers of primers plus a top coat. But especially in this primer, there are anti-corrosion pigments used in order to achieve this level of protection. Is this sustainable? Well, water-based acrylic paint is certainly the first level. However, this anti-corrosion pigment, these zinc phosphates are aqua toxic and the paint has to be labeled accordingly. That is why our new Acronal Pro 770 is both the next level in dispersion technology and also sustainability because you don't need anti-corrosion pigments anymore. Let's have a look at the test panels which we have prepared. These test panels are coated with two layers of a zinc phosphate free primer plus a top coat 
both based on Acronal Pro 770. The first tunnel has been subjected to the so-called water condensation test, 240 hours of it. That means a very high moisture and humidity environment at 40 degrees Celsius. The requirement is that no blisters are forming in the panel and that the gloss stays as it was before and the panel looks homogeneous. As you can see, we fulfilled these requirements. The second panel is the result of the so-called neutral salt spray test. This panel has been deliberately damaged by a mechanical drill. You see this big scribe at the bottom and you also see some rust spots on the surface. This is where the rust solution has run across the panel. This is just superficial. What you can also see is that even after 480 hours of this harsh environment, we virtually have no under rusting and no blisters at the scribe. Rainer, this salt spray test, is that some special equipment? That's a good question, Martin. This is actually a special chamber where you have a sodium chloride atmosphere. Rainer, you mentioned before that this coating contains a zinc-free primer. What does that mean in terms of cost? Actually, anti-corrosion pigments are one of the more expensive ingredients in the primer. So using our Acronal Pro 770, you can replace them with inert fillers or with more dispersion. So you can be more sustainable and save money at the same time. Next to the Aquanaut Pro 770, do we have other dispersions that can be used as primer and multilayer? Certainly, Martin. Starting in 1984 with Aquanaut S760, we have built a large portfolio of acrylic dispersions for metal protection. The brand names are Acronal Pro and John Grill Pro. Okay, Rainer, thank you very much for this explanation how you can use primer and multilayer to protect your metal. I hope we can meet each other soon in person. See you, Martin. Thanks to Heinrich and Rainer. This was very informative and shows how easy, more sustainable corrosion protection can be achieved. So Martin, and besides that, are there any other options to make coatings more sustainable? Yes, indeed, Birke. Additionally, you can reduce your carbon footprint by using the biomass balanced product version. The biomass balanced concept, you feed biomass into your chemical process and then allocate this to your final raw material for your coating and at the same time, your performance remains the same. That sounds interesting. Can you make it a bit more tangible for our audience? Yes, to give you an example, suppose we would coat all the electricity pilots in Germany with a mass balance version of the Aquanal Pro 770, you would save so much CO2 as almost half a million trees would absorb in one year. Ah, okay, that's quite remarkable. So we see that a coating can really make a difference here, right? Correct. So Martin, today we learned a lot on how to achieve more sustainable corrosion protection and how easy it is. Can you sum it up a little for our viewers? Yes, I can. In fact, our experts have shown how you can effectively protect your metal surface with a water-based coating. And depending on the application and on the technical requirements, this can be either a DTM or a multi-layer system. And at the same time, you can be more sustainable by using less hazardous components and by omitting, reducing or even eliminating zinc phosphate, you can also be more cost effective. On top of that, it's easy to formulate, easy to apply and as a last point, you can also use a biomass balance version to reduce your carbon footprint. And remember, we are there for you to support you with your surface. Great, Martin, thank you. Dear viewers, we hope you liked this episode. In case you have any questions or want to order a sample, then just contact us. We are happy to help. Until then, stay safe and healthy. Goodbye. Goodbye. BASF. We create chemistry.